Hello, I'm Tom, author of the forthcoming How to Think, and I'm sitting in the study in which I spent the spring and summer of 2020 writing it with my children playing in the garden there, and the news doom scrolling on the screen in front of me. And I guess one of the things that's really exciting about the book for me is that in some ways it's the story of me grappling with the craziness of the world, with the doom on screen, with the lockdown, with QAnon, with Donald Trump, with anti-vax, with disinformation and misinformation and, and despair. And I kind of felt that as someone who cares a lot about critical thinking skills as the foundations for study, but also for life and citizenship, well, what does it mean to talk about them in the context of real, unfolding, frightening, profoundly uncertain events. And how can I kind of weave that story into a book in a way that kind of enacts, that models for students, you know, what it looks like to use these things in real circumstances and not to pretend that everything is kind of simple and makes sense in retrospect. And so I guess I hope that this is a book that for lecturers and students will really speak to the question of, well, you know, why does this matter to me? How can it practically help me work, think about life? What does it mean to use this stuff? It's very applied, it's stories. And the other thing I think I'd say is that it is holistic. I'm really interested in the fact that good thinking, and good study can only happen if other stuff is in place first in terms of routines, and habits, in terms of emotional self-regulation and calm, in terms of paying attention to the environment you're in, what it is that you have to do, what your priorities are, what you're struggling with, that kind of honesty. One of the things I've noticed about online teaching and learning is that to some degree, you know, teachers and students, they're kind of all in it together. Everyone is wrestling with a crazy situation. They don't quite know when it's going to end. People are at home and they're having to weave their learning and their teaching into their everyday lives. The context matters. You're in a shed, you're in a room, you are stressed out, you've got kids, you've got family, you've got parents, you, you know, you're not in a special place that's set up 100% to help and support you learn. And so I, I really hope that aspects of the book model taking control of your circumstances, your habits, your priorities, cutting yourself some slack, practicing empathy, practicing good communication skills, practicing active listening, as well as then building on top of these analytical and research and evidence-based skills. So it's, it's a narrative book, I guess, and it goes through from these fundamentals of self-regulation and time and attention through to statistics, through to talking about technology and complexity theory. And I think, I hope that in some ways it encourages people to be reflective upon the online environments that they are in. So much is coming at people on screen. You know, you've got your work open and then in another window, there's social media, there's Twitter, there's the news, there's games, there's your social life. I want to speak to managing that proactively, to feeling confident in that context. And perhaps most importantly, I, I guess the message for me is that critical thinking is a lifelong process composed of lots of skills. If you want to avoid, you know, biases, if you want to avoid dangerous assumptions, well, you have to be comfortable with the fact that you're never going to get rid of them completely. To be human is to be flawed, and nevertheless to try to become better together. So I put human stories at the heart of the book, and I, I hope I've modelled, you know, my own flaws and fallibilities, that I've been very honest that I've written some stuff where I encourage people to say, well, you know, I wrote this in the summer of 2020 before the second wave, you know, isn't that crazy? So, you know, what didn't I know? What might you go back in time and tell me or tell yourselves? Overall, I just hope it's a great book to read and a companion and a reassurance and an engagement. And I hope that people can give it to their students and, and just say, look, this will help you think about your studies in a joined up way. It will help you take your life and, and, and think carefully about what it means for you to work better, more confidently, more effectively, identify your priorities, make it a lifelong process. 
know that you're not alone. Thank you so much to all of you for listening to me and um, the very best of wishes. <laughs>